Welcome to Melinda K Expeditions. Subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share it with your mates. We would love to have you aboard as we restore Melinda K to her former glory and we take off on adventures of a lifetime. The bogging has begun. The whole boat is going to be bog, I think, by the time we're finished. There's lots of holes and lots of divots and lots of old rust that was sanded out. She's a spotty boat now. That's all the fairing, all the little divots and the little holes. One side down, one to go. Alrighty-o. Bit of a cap after the day's events. We have been sanding and fairing all day. We've got a a few young fellas giving us a bit of a hand while well, we're paying them. Got them out of the paper, they've been going hard. So we've sanded and fared. Well, we've got to sand all of the fairing yet, but anyway. And we've pulled all the anchor chain out. This is some of the anchor chain that was right at the bottom. That is completely had it. Absolutely had it. So we've chopped that off. That'll go to this scrap heap. And there's all the chain laid up there. The main anchor, the XL. She's, that chain's really, really good in good nick. This other chain over here that was on the anchor that we're not using. I like being chained up. It was, um, it's probably all right to, to re-galvanize. But anyway, I'll look at that a bit later on. All the doors, the chimneys, they're all being acid washed, ready to paint. And this is the side we've completed in putting all the fairing on. We've just got to put it a bit more on the other side yet. But tomorrow we will get in here and sand. I think there'll be eight of us sanding. So I'm hoping we can knock this over by tomorrow afternoon mid-afternoon i should be able to start putting some primer on i'm hoping your mouth right that no, time. I was using the wrong tag. Oh, the wrong got tag. got another tag on there. You idiot. Um. Day of sanding and fairing. Des has done sanded all this top part above that middle chime now. That's all done. But this waterline is a nightmare. It's so thick. Taking forever to sand. So, just one bit of rust we found in the boat. This is the mount for the arms here. 
and it goes right up and gets caught in that little fork up there and obviously they were touching this part of the, the um, solid tube that's going through there and that one's rusted out the other side was all right the other side I've plasmed all of this out and I'm, I'm just going I'm not going to redo the pipe again I'm going to put a flat plate in here just straight down flat plate okay. so we had um, dealt welder Dan come in his work his magic today and this is one of the things he did put a lock on the garage door welded that on he's a bit of a master welder I'll show you a couple of other things that he did. So, a bit more handiwork from Dan. Um, there's four of these. Last time we came up, he put these on. So these are for our sponsor. And so, we had timber along there, which we took off, which was had it. All these brackets are there, ready. We're going to make a new sponsor, but we're going to make it much wider. So two, two different thicknesses of hardwood. Um, probably epoxy glued together or something like that and then they bolt through all these but what we needed we didn't have one at the end here so he welded these tags on for us today we'll put a hole through there and that's measured out so that they basically run that timber all the way to there to butt up to that so it'll come at least out to there if not a little bit wider we might just shamper that timber down so big long wide rubbing strips uh, the length of Melindy K so that'll look pretty good okay so another Dan job today, welding job. So this is the duckboard for the back of the boat. Um, and it did have a big um, bend and rusty bit through the back. And it was starting to give way. So uh, we've replaced this whole um, thick tube and the thin tube. And Dan has welded all of the little stabilizers onto that and then fixed it all up again. So hopefully she's a lot stronger than she was before. Hey, morning. We just arrived. Des making a lot of noise. Putting the garage door up. So a bit of an update, this is day six on the slip. We, three days, we couldn't get out the boat uh, due to sandblasting and the guys painting and all that. So really we've only had, uh, what's the three days added ourselves. But we've got a mountain load of work done, but we've still got heaps and heaps to go. So, uh, port side, we've done all our fairing and sanding. Orbital sanding, hand sanding, around all those brackets, all those little portholes everywhere. So all the top sides are fed and sand down to an 80 grip. Today, we're down some troops, only Des and I at this stage. This side's been fed, started sanding that side, did some more fairing. This side now has to be sanded today. So we need to crack on with that because fairly imperative today that we get a coat, an undercoat on. It'll be a full day of sanding again. Pretty excited about that. Alrighty, a little bit of an update. Very hard to film it because they're so goddamn busy. Battlevick's just done a bit of welding. So this side's uh, been orbital sanded didn't film it very boring too busy and just about finished all the hand sanding alrighty so this is what we we're talking about it used to be like a, a rounded section like that cut that out because it was rusty uh, and just put a flat piece in there so we'll tidy all this up and then um, seal it before we undercoat the entire side of this boat.
but a bold night. Yeah. How much of this have we mixed up? Really? For the size of the boat, not that much. No. We've probably used four litres of it. Yeah. I'd say four litres. This is the day. Give it sanding, it's up all taped up. Can it, well, do the doors at least, um, to see what you reckon? The plan was to spray. But someone probably needs to get the bunnings right. before it closes. What's happening with that gun, doll? This gun's rooted. The boys worked hard all day to try and get her ready. But we can't get the gun going. All taped up. Ready to go. Alrighty, you know it's a long day when you're spray painting at night. <laughs> That's our goal. We're still going. It's going to be a long night. So this is the morning after, a lot of mission last night. This is the port side just about undercoated. Uh, we finished at half past 10. We got home about quarter to 11 last night. That's after a 6 a.m. start. So <clears throat> we've turned some of these doors over, ready for the coat on the inside, but they've been primed or undercoated. And then all this port side, except for a little bit on the stern there, um, the pot of paint we made up ran out so uh, we're pushing the limits a bit trying to get all this work done in a pretty short time frame so we're just reevaluating the plan a little bit this morning might see if we can have a couple more days out of the water uh, to try and get this big girl done it's, it's a it's a herculean task I tell you it's huge but um we're having a crack anyway. But it's looking good. I'm sure it's all gonna be worth it in the end. Okay, so just an update. It's the port side all undercoated. And stack up the top there. Uh, we uh, needle gunned, sandblasted, bogged, primed, all that, so there's got up there and sprayed that. All this aft deck up in here, been sections in there, he's done. You can hear him going off into the background there. Stern's been done. And like I said, there's all down this uh, starboard side, on the inboard side's all been done as well. And just starting now on the starboard side. Yeah, it's certainly been handy these things, look. Pretty close now. This is the starboard side. Pretty much undercoated now. It's got a few things uh, inside the doors laid out. But, uh, can't wait to see some colour on it. Gum colour, that cream, all oh, off-white it's called, same as up there. All over. And then uh, black antifowl. 
could set off the windows there beautifully. Nearly there, mate. Yeah. Hey. Nearly there. Okay, we've been in the shed a week now. So, she's all fed, she's undercoated, and she's sanded with the 240 grit. And today, we're putting on the anti foul. We've got a few little bits here that we've just found that we're gonna, we've rebulked and we'll just undercoat them again before the spray in the morning. So this is going to be the pretty colour of our under the water. Under the water. So about two metres or a metre down from the waterline we're gonna have it black, but this is just stuff that I've got we're gonna use under the water. This is the aluminium foil we did to protect everything and then we just put a little piece of tape around the bottom to give us a paint line so everything is foiled which protects everything What are, you, what are you doing, mate? What are you sick of sanding or something? Satisfaction. Satisfaction. She's happy getting a bit wet, isn't she? Bronnie's the hose holder. Very important job. So um, we finally finished sanding, fairing, undercoating, then fairing, sanding, more undercoating. Anyway, exciting day tomorrow because uh, colour's going on. Got a little bit of anti-foul on, I saw that today. It's only the first coat's gonna end up black, but we like that colour, it's pretty sexy actually. Um, anyway, Des has given it a bit of a hose, getting all the dust off, and she'll be dry by tomorrow morning. Ready for the off-white top coat. Two coats, so the boys will be spraying all day. I'll be the mixer, very important job. Exciting, she's all coming together. Alrighty, D Day. Only decays all undercoated. We got her all wrapped up. Areas that have already been colored, painted in that off white. And uh, boys are all just set up. All right, the sprays, we're gonna run two guns. And I think I'm gonna start all this interior on the inside first, and um, down around the stern there as well, and then use the scissor lifts and um, start on the exterior. So anywhere you can see it's white there, it's going that off-white, cream looking color. And um, yeah, very, very exciting. A little bit nerve wracking. Hopefully no runs and hopefully she'll go on really smoothly and really, really well. Fingers crossed. How long did that take? I don't Ten. know, but geez, you're looking sharp there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that probably took <laughs> 10 minutes. Wow. Yeah, from the bow to the back. Not, geez. Even, not even 10 minutes, would it? You're a good looking man in that suit, mate. <laughs> 
Where are you guys' color? This is the first coat, going on pretty thin. So uh, Des just finished a final coat on all these doors. That's for the blower room, exhaust room. That's the aft door, or the garage area we call it. That's for the um, chimney stack or the stack, um, exhaust stack on the roof. That's a uh, wheelhouse door. That's engine room door downstairs. Another wheelhouse door. And then that's a shroud that goes around the stack. He's, he's doing a way better job. I'm letting him do the finishing off coat. I, and for a start, it's affecting my eyes. I can't see shit. Yeah, you, you look like you're stoned. <laughs> but he's he's doing a brilliant job. Yeah, he is. And, and spraying with airless. I've, now, I've not sprayed with airless before. And like it just pours the paint out. But he's really doing a fantastic job. It's getting a, a massive cross to it all. It is, yeah. Uh, it's amazing. Australians, we know how to use proper PPE. I've had the correct boots on the whole time. Check them out. <laughs> Australian safety boots. Have a look at that. Great. Look at my shoes over here. <laughs> <laughs> Destroyed. She's well greased. This stuffing box is getting way too hot. Yeah. So what it is, there's some gland packing in there. See this stuff here? Mm -hmm. It's gland packing. Yeah. So this part here, this part here is on a wedge. Basically it's on a wedge like that and the shaft runs through the center. So it's a wedge. So we put some of that gland packing in here then this section, can you see this here? Yep. That section there collet. pushes up. It's the collar. It's the collar that pushes up that gland packing into the wedge. Yep. So the more you press it, the more it compacts itself around the shaft. Now this, for some reason or other, had four layers and it was compressed so hard that the stuffing box itself was getting way too hot. Yeah. So it's not good to be hot. You can damage your shaft and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've we've pulled it all out and we've put new gland packing back in. So we've only put a couple in and we've only pushed this collar up until it's reasonably firm. And we'll just see how that goes. We'll monitor that now and make sure that this isn't getting too hot. If it starts dripping water, then we just got to tighten it up a little bit more until the water stops. Uh, dripping and it's not getting too hot. It's not good to have it not drip because it's probably too tight and it's going to get too hot in there. 
So we really want it to be around about 30 degrees with the, on the heat gun, 30, 35 degrees on the heat gun. I wouldn't want to go any higher than that. But anyway, that job's been nagging at us for quite a long time and it's done and it's messy. And the yeah. best part about it is it doesn't even smell. No. It stinks <laughs> like sewage. I know. This is the most satisfying part of painting, isn't it? Is, it? is this pretty satisfying? Oh yeah. We hope you're enjoying our restorations and adventures aboard Melindy K. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment or share it with your mates. It's a free way to help support Melindy K expeditions. Chuck in some fuel money and become a Patreon. You'll find the link in our description. We truly appreciate your support and connecting with like-minded people. Cheers and remember, the sea is always calling.